I believe that everything in this video falls under fair use. If you guys see me at school, you might have seen me use Siri. Now, Siri is not in the current version of Mac of the MacBook Air OS, but it's about to be for your computer. Welcome to the Apple Beta Program. The Apple Beta Program basically allows you guys to get the latest version of Mac OS. Actually, not the latest version, the, the newer version that hasn't even been released to the public yet before anyone else does. Um, they released the new iOS Syria about, I think it's two weeks before it gets released to the public. I don't even think you guys have it yet. But um, it's a really cool program that allows you to do something like that, allow you to send feedback directly. It's a really cool program, and I think you guys will like it. So without further ado, let's get this started. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to here, the search bar. We're going to want to search up Apple Beta Program. And we want to go to the Apple Beta Software Program. Or www.beta.apple.com. And here we are, this so Apple Beta Software Program. And now it's time for Reading Fails. The only show when you get to see Kyle try to read and fail horribly. Help make the next release of the I iOS 10 and Mac OS Sierra our best yet. As a member of the Apple Beta, the Apple Beta Software Program, you can take part in shaping Apple software by testing the test driving pre-released versions and letting us know what you think. This concludes this episode of Reading Fails. So then you want to click sign up. And then you want to sign in with your Apple ID and then after that it's going to ask you to sign a waiver basically saying uh, they can receive your crash data and stuff like that. If you want to read through it, you can. I'm going to click sign in since I'm already a member. Here we are. Um, Apple Beta Program. So Apple Beta Software Program. Guides the public beta betas. Um, and then you're going to want to go to the Mac OS Syrup. Now, the Apple Beta Program is still in beta. So if you're feeling lucky, you don't have to back your Mac up, but if you want to feel safe, then I'd recommend backing it up. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but you can. Um, the newest version probably won't crash on you, but um, really early versions of the beta might crash. But, you know, it, there's normally not very many game-breaking bugs on these things, so um, I haven't had any problems. It should be fine. Um... So what you're going to want to do is you want to click enroll your Mac. And then you want to click on install the Mac OS Sierra GM candidate. And then you want to click and then you're going to get this your redemption code is. And then what you want to going to do once you got that code is you're going to want to go to the magnifying glass and search in the App Store. And then you're going to go to Second, and then you're going to go to redeem. Come on, it, yeah, and then it's going to bring you to this page that says redeem code. You're going to want to type in your code here that you got from the page. You can copy paste it, and then it's going to say that your code has been redeemed successfully. Um, I've already redeemed the code, so it won't show it for me. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to go to purchased, and then here it will say Mac OS Sierra. Now, this is a very big download. Um, I think it's four gigabytes. I'm not sure, but um, I'd recommend doing it overnight, or uh, you know, do it with a very fast internet connection because um, I'd recommend getting it done before you go back to school or whatever you're gonna do with your Mac. Um, I just recommend getting it done before then because then it's just not getting in the way, you know. Because then it has to um shut off and then it has to re it has to install it. So it takes a little bit, but you know, whatever. Um, so there you go. That's how you get the new Mac beta on your Mac. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button. Some more of these uh, MacBook Air tutorials in the future. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.